to himself and he proved it to everybody else who watched it in that last fight with Britis Prescott. And Provodnikov, who was a very good, sturdy prospect on the way up. That was, uh, I mean, the, the bigger guy and the, and the guy that has the biggest punch. But is now 32-0 and 0 as a pro. And this is a breakthrough moment. He spent a little bit of time in jail. He had a probation violation. And, uh, uh, and seven of those victories coming by way of knockout. Oh, Herrera. 23 of those victories coming by way of knockout. The rules in the dressing room. Keep this fight clean at all times. Protect After this fight, then we've got Juan Manuel Marquez making his return to Mexico. 140 pounder. Uh, I had the experience when I was still fighting. I sparred my before. And uh, you could feel his power. The guy's very strong. I know told us yesterday he felt he could exploit Alvarado on the inside. Says he really likes fighting on the ropes with his back to the rope. Mike Alvarado, Mauricio Herrera. Mentioned both men with come from behind wins. Fighters they both are, so they're going to be warned tonight. But Mar and, and Mauricio was honest about the fact that Alvarado's there. Mike Alvarado's strength and punches. Yeah, Herrera and, there landing a nice body shot. And I think I'm sure we're all anxious to see too because Alvarado's there by Herrera, El Maestro. And a great jab. I did a lot of sparring with Pernell. I call it the chain jab. Jab a hard jab. He did nicely. Yeah, that was some great work by Herrera. And you're seeing just that I like what Herrera is doing in round one. I tell you what, that, that instantly I little tapped him with the left to the body, got out of there, jabbed. Set wins, standing in against each other, and Herrera standing his ground. What? Catching the distance and waiting for him to come in and land that. Peter Vasquez, he is one of the most awkward guys uh, to fight. On the inside there, uh, seemingly a little too long. You can get abused in there. I don't want to get too brave here. I, I agree. I was standing in the pocket a little too PewDiePie. There's no question he will get you ready to fight a slick boxer. A three and four punch now. Get out of there. Yeah, you see the taps to the body again. Uh, when I say cutie pie, I'm Mauricio Herrera. See, that's a big thing. Badly bruised underneath that left eye. It's turning black. Trickling, or if that is just roughed up. But again, he is, he's made. Lands with the right hand. Old trainers will tell you, don't stand there and take a picture. You know, do your work, get out. Yeah. Best round of the night so far. He got, he got caught right there coming in by a Mauricio jab. Guys, it, it, it's not at the level of violence of Juan Manuel Marquez, Juan Diaz. But the when he came into the ring as a guy that can come moving forward and box, he can come. Round three, we all agree, Mauricio Herrera put out the punishment. Once again, Herrera trying to fight off the ropes. It's just funny to see him fight off the ropes. Alvarado, maybe he's going to learn to fight inside right here in front of us. Comes out. No hole, no hole. I like the way Kenny Bayless is refereeing this fight as well. Let, let. Up, up. Herrera. He, he does his combination, then he leads back and he counters up to that with an overhand right. Rips some good shots and lands on Alvarado. I, I just feel that Herrera clinching. They're just making the decision to fight toe to toe, leaning on each other. Final 15 seconds of the third round. I don't know if he's hurting him, but he's landing and he's scoring. Outstanding action, finishes round three. Fighting Mauricio Herrera non-stop on the ropes. I'll tell you, you talk about two-way action. Raul Marquez, what happens now? Like, what, 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 <laughs> what, what, what just, just take a shot at it. I Mauricio, I, I scored it for Mike Alvarado. I think you had the right description of it. He was too brave, but in the third round. I don't know that he is beginning to bruise there as well and reddening underneath that right eye is attrition right here. Who will be? Able to punch like Bono opening up, trying to get in the power shots now, and a clubbing overhand right. Well, Herrera did say he feels he could out slug, he could out punch Mike out where he knew if he got into a firefight, he could emerge to pull it out right then, and he did. And then eats a few shots from Herrera. Good counter work. And remember, the boxing and the career of Mauricio Herrera is, and we talked to him yesterday about going from that atmosphere here to fighting it. I tell you, when Herrera fires back, too, they're straight up the middle, so they can... Herrera again. Great action. Two to mix it up toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Round five, Mike Alvarado, Mauricio Herrera. Mauricio Herrera saying, yes, he's the stronger guy. Puts Herrera back. So in terms of gaining a world title opportunity, they have... In that fight, then he beats Mike Dallas Jr. He has quality wins. Herrera is going to stay away a little bit. Alvarado came back. This 
He's had a chance to I catch his breath, you think, Raul? Either that or he's three or four shots and then the big one. Look at him. Now you see Alvarado just drawing a tough. Tell you, judging this fight, you've really got to be paying attention. Because he picked it up in the final minute. Let's see if the tactics change or the energy. And do something different during the course of a fight. Very implanted on the head of Alvarado. It's a good scoring shot. He is facing some hellacious opposition and really enter. The chant from the fans is 303. That's what boxing at the age of 20. He was a, a high school wrestler. We asked him, hey, what? You know, that's been the case at all the fights I've seen from Alvarado. He felt he was burned out and then walked into a boxing gym at the age of 20. You got a kid that has uh, amateur fights, a lot of amateur fights. It's a different national fight by fight, and so far, I like what I see. I think Herrera's turned things around. And guys will win records, and he's proved uh, that, that he wants to get better. And look. It looks to me like he just had more energy in this round. And I think, and, you know, Fernando Vargas, I fought Fernando Vargas. He was the same type of fighter. He needed to get ticked off. Tungsten, Mike Alvarado in the black. Look out. I, I bet you couldn't find five people on this odd. And maybe he has gotten a little too brave, has stood his ground a little too much for his own. You know, you have to look back, too, and, and wonder, here's a guy, Vernon Forrest, against Ricardo Mayorga, too. Do you give credit to the who's doing the real work with Herrera on the ropes? Herrera not as busted up. You don't think it should influence things, but it does. And, uh, you're not going to win the round by winning the last 10 seconds of the round. Well, no, but in the final minute on that hook, hoping something would land, but Herrera's too slick. Not only bruising yes. underneath, but it's close. Uh, look at that eye. Round eight. You really can't see, so why not go for broke? Go inside and mix it up. Herrera needs to go in there and make it a brawl. I mean, he, he can't. Yeah, we mentioned both of these guys have been in deep waters before where they've been hurt. Nikov said his wife Vanessa was ringside. He said he had her head in her get a win here against Mike Alvarado. Earth is beginning to wilt here some. Oh, yeah, he's that sign. Alvarado tries to come in. And he has thrown that overhand. Who lands? That's like three or four body shots. Strength of Alvarado. Did you see how Alvarado shouldered him off there? They set him in. That hurt. It's going to be tough for... And that, eye. that must be their feeling that that's their only shot. He's getting close to here to Alvarado. Alvarado didn't land a lot of those right hands on Herrera, but here as we go. Scheduled for 10. We're in the ninth round. That means he's not out of the woods. I gave him the last two rounds. Here in the corner, uh, his trainer was trying to motivate him. He wanted to stop the fight. Mauricio. He really looks worn out at, at, at last round. And now Alvarado is able to plant and fire. <laughs> Maybe not. I mean, not, not. we feel he's behind, but if you... Yeah, and, and you add him up, and that's the way it comes out. But I think Alvarez could be, though. Oh, big mistake. He's backing up straight with his hands down. And Carrera had to be cuter. You know, he had to get in and out. He couldn't say, gasp in and suck in some air. Alvaro. Is there any way for you as a former fighter to quantify? Final seconds of the ninth round as Mauricio Herrera tries to finish. Really, he can't see that right hand coming. And there you see the overhand right from Alvarado. All right. All right. Good luck, fellas. Good luck. Final round. Tenth round here. Mauricio Herrera. Always better. Look what he did with the Prescott fight. Redis Prescott, even though he was... On Mauricio Herrera, he's tired. He's fighting off the Herrera. Just when you think Herrera is done, he will yeah, then lead or over over the top. With the well, he loves that shoe shine. Wow. Yeah, look, he said he had stronger Mike Alvarado tonight. But he's in it. That Alvarado. right hand. Alvarado does not want to give the judges that. Actually, Herrera is doing good in this round. I want to come out and see you. Yeah, I'll tell you. you Alvarado has to feel good. Hey, I'm not busted up. Look at the end here, Brian, as these two just went at it. And they're both good. We're just going to stand there. Mile high.